Russian activity has increased on Dnipro's left bank in the Kherson region. However, the Ukrainian military inflict significant losses on the invading forces. Dmitro Lykovy, spokesman for the Tavria operational group of troops, said this on the Espresso TV channel. Every day, Russia loses a lot of weapons and military equipment. On September the 9th, it lost 79 people in our entire operational area, killed, wounded and two prisoners, 22 pieces of weapons and military equipment. Among them, if we talk about the specifics of the area in the Kherson region on the left bank of the Dnipro River, the enemy lost five boats. Interestingly, one of the destructions inflicted by our artillery and attack drones was on a boat storage facility. This means that the invaders are no longer losing boats individually, but in whole warehouses, he said. Over the previous three days, 30 Russian enemy assaults on Ukrainian positions took place. In the Pridniprovsky sector, Likovai said, Russians are increasingly active, not only at one of the bridgeheads north of Krynki, but also at various locations on the left bank of the Dnipro River where our military are stationed. There are ongoing clashes there. The enemy is not successful. The defensive operation continues and our positions are being held there. In mid-July, our units left the village of Krynki, which was the largest foothold on the left bank of the Dnipro, and moved to other designated positions a little north and a little west of Krynki. But this is also the left bank of the Dnipro. Now, the intensity of the enemy's assault operations in the Tavria operational area is increasingly precisely because of the increase in Russian activity on the left bank of the Dnipro, specifically in the Pridniprovsky direction. It is there that Russian troops put the most pressure on our positions and conduct the most assaults. He added, the Ukrainian army said that it has pushed Russian forces back three to eight kilometers from the banks of the Dnipro River which, if confirmed, would be the first meaningful advance by Kiev's forces months into a disappointing counter-offensive. Ukrainian and Russian forces have been entrenched on opposite sides of the vast waterway in the southern Kherson region for more than a year after Russia withdrew its troops from the Western Bank last November. Ukrainian forces have staged multiple attempts to cross and hold positions on the Russian-controlled side, with officials in Kiev finally reporting a successful breakthrough last week. Preliminary figures vary from 3 to 8 kilometers depending on the specifics, geography and landscape design of the left bank, army spokeswoman Natalia Gumenyuk told Ukrainian television without specifying whether Ukraine's military had complete control of the area or if the Russians had retreated. Ukraine's stated plans to hold territory in Russia's Kursk region could give the Ukrainian armed forces a chance to bleed white the Russians by drawing them into a grueling, drawn-out fight, just as they are doing on their own soil, British military strategy expert Matthew Savile told Business Insider. According to him, for the Ukrainian military, the calculation is that if they create a strong defense, they will be able to effectively bleed the Russians dry, effectively do what has already happened in other places. Earlier, the UK Ministry of Defence said that more than 70,000 Russian troops were killed or wounded in May and June thanks to effective Ukrainian defences and a lack of Russian training, and Russian troops continue to suffer heavy losses, the newspaper notes. As the article points out, if Ukraine manages to gain a foothold and hold onto the Kursk region, Russia's attempts to fight back could also result in heavy losses especially considering that many of the Russian soldiers in Kursk are poorly trained. Many of them are young, inexperienced conscripts. CIA Deputy Director David Cohen said late last month that retaking Kursk from Ukraine would be a hard fight for Russia, while Michael Bonnert, a military expert at the RAND Corporation, told BI that retaking the territory would be very costly for the Russians. As the publication notes, Russia often uses the tactic of protracting battles, and some military observers even claim that this is an element of the Russian theory of victory, given the tension that such battles create for Ukraine. Moreover, Savile explained, in order to bleed the Russian forces in Kursk, Ukraine would have to put up quite an effective defense very quickly. This, he said, would be difficult to do quickly, not impossible, but difficult, particularly if they were doing it under fire. In addition, Business Insider writes, Ukraine's efforts in the Kursk region also risk leaving sections of the front in Ukraine underdefended, which will lead to the depletion of their already small armed forces. According to analysts, 
The invasion of the Kursk region allows the Ukrainian armed forces to challenge Russian control over the Combined Arms Initiative in Ukraine.